Hi, I'm Shanti Cleland and I'm here today to talk to you about divorced kids. And this is Derry, my Irish red set across, aren't you? Anyway, we're here to talk to you about divorced kids and the reason why I've set it up. Many of you may know me from my work as a former lawyer with 30 years experience, through the rhythm of the horse, which is personal development using horses, or through my work as the happiness coach. But this is a much more serious subject. Divorce leaves emotional impact on our children and on ourselves. It can affect us much more than we realise. Over the last seven years, I have worked with children and parents from all different ages. In fact, one of my most recent clients was a lady who was in her late 40s. And she came to me because she was struggling to deal with the emotional impact that her divorcing parents, who were in their 70s, was having on her. She felt like a, a young 10-year-old child all over again. And she really struggled to deal with it. And it was very much, how do I tell the grandchildren, her children? How do we deal with this? What should we do? Again, over the last seven years, I am no longer a practicing lawyer. I decided to move into more of the personal development field um, 10 years ago. But I've still kept my hand in and I'm often asked to uh, act as a consultant on cases, often where the behaviour of the parents is having a massive impact on the children. And those are really difficult cases to deal with. Over the years, I must have worked with over 100 children. And each one has had anxiety, anger, behaviour issues, lack of confidence, uh, self-esteem issues. The, the, the negative spectrum of feelings and emotions that they have experienced has been huge and widespread. And I've managed to help them through it. Because the key aim is, is to make sure that these children grow up with the abilities to have great relationships with themselves in the future. I know from my own personal experiences, going through the divorce of my parents, when my father just left one day, never to return home and never to be seen again, had a huge impact on my, in my adult life when I got married. For the first 10 years of my marriage, I must have driven Chris absolutely crazy because I was constantly expecting him to just one day pack his bags and leave. When we went through um, job difficulties back in the early 1990s when redundancies and job losses were absolutely rife, he couldn't get a job where we lived on the Wirral and ended up getting one in Leeds in West Yorkshire. And that really brought out huge fears. It meant he was going to be moving away from home. Um, and therefore he would no longer want me and he would find somebody new. I had to work very, very hard to deal with those insecurities. And I was an adult. I've been married nearly, I've been married 25 years and we've been married, we've been together rather for nearly 30 years. And we have worked very, very hard at our marriage. And there have been times when it hasn't been easy and splitting up would be a simpler option, but we made a pledge that we would work things through and that's what we've done. But I'm not here to lecture on how to have a happy marriage. What I'm here to talk to you about is everybody that I have met that has gone through a divorce, amicable or otherwise, has suffered a huge emotional impact and it's affected how they have developed future relationships. The children that I have come across and worked with have made me realise that we are actually breeding a generation that does not know what it means to have a good marriage. Divorce seems like the rest of society, a part of our disposable society. If it's not working, we get divorced. Now listen, I'm not saying let's stay together in an abusive marriage or a marriage that is absolutely toxic. But what I'm trying to highlight is the emotional impact. It is huge. Most of the teenagers that I've worked with that have had behavioural issues 
it stems from coming from a divorce at some point in their childhood. But that's only me, that's only what I've found. Maybe that's the reason why I'm getting these clients. Anyway, the purpose of Divorced Kids is to help you parents and your children through the process of divorce. I'm here to help you both, the parents, keep the lines of communication open for the sake of your children. I am here to teach you and to show you how to get through the divorce without having a child that blames themselves for their parents' breakup, that does not feel like a rugby ball or a ping pong ball being battered and thrown from one partner to the other. I hope you understand where I'm coming from and I hope the website www.divorcekids.co.uk highlights that. I've tried to put on some useful tips and advice and guidance such as the kids top 10 no-nos. That I took from interviewing 100 children that I've worked with. And also how to break the news. You parents have created your children and that is a bond that you are both going to share for the rest of your lives and for the rest of the lives of your children. It is therefore so incredibly important that you do try to make the difficult process of separation and divorce as easy is not the right word, but as easy as possible, so that the impact is not so huge on both of you and the child that none of you can form really great relationships in the future. That's why I'm here. I wanted to put my 30 years of legal experience and knowledge and my 10 years of personal development work together in a format that helps you. And that's why I'm here. On my website, you'll find some great professional services for your children and for you. For you, I can help you draft up your separation agreement. I can help you talk to each other, almost be a counsellor. I'm usually a consultant. I can help you keep the lines of communication open. I can help resolve difficulties. I can help you if you're doing the divorce yourself. I, I have acted for a number of people who, to keep costs down, are doing the divorce process, the legal process themselves. I can help you there. And I can help your children too. I've also introduced some equine assisted coaching to help with the emotional healing aspects to get you through the process. They're mainly personal development and communication tools, but in fact, on two occasions, I've actually, through using equine assisted coaching, helped resolve issues between a married couple that enabled them to stay, get, to get, stay together, and they are still together. It's easy to contact me, just pick up the phone. There's a, you can easily have a no obligation telephone call with me, or make an appointment to talk to me. It's that easy. And together, we can get you through this process in one piece, where you don't feel as though you're on the floor, but you do feel like a recognised and responsible adult. Give me a call. I'll make the time to help you. Take care now.